Wouldn't you like to become a saint? It's not as difficult as you think. All you have to do is be yourself. After all, God made you. And when you realize how very much he loves you, it becomes so easy to love him in return. My name is Tina Belanche and this is my story. I was the only child of my parents, Octave and Seraphia Belanche. I once had a little brother, but he died when he was just three months old. We lived in Quebec and I grew up very happily there, where both Mama and Papa doted on me. I knew I was very pretty. The mirrors in our home told me so. And that I was quite talented too. I loved my music and I was good enough to become a concert pianist of some acclaim. The world offered me a lot. Adulation, wealth, fame. Thanks to my mama, who taught me about the love of God from my cradle. I knew I wanted something more, much, much more. Eventually, I joined the Congregation of the Religious of Jesus and Mary in Sillery, Canada. But my greater delight was meeting Jesus, yes, the Lord himself the best friend one could ever hope for. I could spend hours in the convent chapel with the Blessed Sacrament and just listen to him. Because of the sicknesses that I suffered, I could do only little things. But throughout my life here and even after I became very ill to the point of death, the rapture of his presence. I was gifted 32 years, filled with his love. So, how can you become a saint? Well, as I said, whether your life is long or short, just be yourself. Listen to the Lord and let him guide you to your true vocation. Do small things with great love for him. You'll find his voice in the scriptures guiding you. He tells you, don't judge. Help someone in distress. Be kind to strangers. Accept the crosses you sometimes have to bear. And most important, let him become your truest friend.